Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at evaluating functions. So we have if f of x is equal to x squared minus 3, then f of p minus q is equal to, and we have four answer choices to choose from. Now what makes this problem a little bit more difficult than the usual function problem is that we're going to be plugging in a variable into the function. So the first thing we should do is when we write down the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 3, to find out what f of p minus q is, what we want to do is wherever we see an x, we're going to put a pair of blank parentheses. So we're going to write blank squared and we have minus 3 after the x term. So at this step, what this means is think of the function as a machine. We're plugging p minus q into the machine. So wherever we see an x, we're replacing the x with p minus q. Okay, so all we did was substitute p minus q in wherever we saw an x. So for the next step, to find out the value of f of p minus q, as you get better at this, you'll start to do it mentally, but we have to multiply p minus q times p minus q. That's what it means to square p minus q. We're multiplying it by itself twice. So then for the next line, we have f of p minus q equals, and now we just have to multiply this out. First we're doing p times p, which is p squared. Then we have p times negative q, which is negative pq. Then we have negative q times p, which is another negative pq. And then last we have negative q times negative q is a positive q squared. Remember, when we multiply two negatives, it turns positive. Okay, and we have the minus 3 on the end. That's not going anywhere. So then for the last line, what we could do is we could combine like terms. So to find out, we have f of p minus q is equal to, and we have p squared minus, well we have minus pq minus pq, that's minus 2 pq plus q squared minus 3. So this is as reduced or as simplified as we could get this expression. So we go over to our answer key and notice that our answer matches up with choice 3. We have p squared minus 2pq plus q squared minus 3. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on evaluating functions. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.